I can't believe I just did that. Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, last night I actually went on a night ride. Um, this time I remembered my memory card and you know, I was kind of hoping the GoPro would uh, see in the dark better than when I was using my phone. Um, it's a little bit better. I actually am kind of looking at it right now on my computer. Um, it certainly doesn't represent what I see when I'm riding because I definitely see a lot better than what shows in the video, but it's still pretty cool to watch and see kind of what night riding is like. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the video and I'll just show you a little bit about my ride and then we'll recap. Here we, Here we go. Off into the darkness. I'm scared. I'm not going. For, for somebody that doesn't know where they're going, he's yeah. sure going. Commit. Where's she going? Amanda, where are you going? I think she got caught up in the fence. Oh. I do. Well, it's actually a cyclocross bike, but. Woo! Woo! Cyclocross bike. Boy, I, that's what I use for my gravel bike. Yeah, that makes total sense. Go ahead. Is she on? Yeah, okay. All right. Riding through the sand. Oh cool, a bridge. The river is right over to my left. Probably can't see it. Woo. <clears throat> so it is December 8th and we don't have any snow on the ground. It is rare, but it is what it is. Oh, I almost made it over. <laughs> Close. I didn't <laughs> expect that extra bit of log on the other side. So I needed a little more momentum. Here we go. Whew. This one's a bit bigger. Here we go. <laughs> that sort of dropper post comes in handy. That looks like, oh, hey, that's rideable. Uh -oh, got an idea. Yeah, I'm gonna take the little whoop, the little whoop, right here. <laughs> it's like a berm. Go right over that. I gotta watch my head though, cause 
there's that thing I have above my head. Sweet. <laughs> Fat bikes <laughs> are so forgiving. <laughs> it's a lot of uh, down trees. Yeah. Looks yeah. like the trail could go this way. Yeah. Oh, that purple's cool. Yep. Shiny, shiny. I need to come back here. Yeah, get, get, <laughs> give yourself some room. Get up some momentum. Oh yeah, you go right over this. Sweet. <clears throat> wow, there's a lot of stuff in the trail. This is crazy. <laughs> Just keeps coming. Now we got a ducker. I gotta remember there's a light on the top of my helmet. And no, I'm not gonna make it under. Shoot, my handlebars <laughs> barely make it under. <laughs> this is fun place to ride. It's uh, when I got out of my truck, it was 38 degrees. So you can see how good the lights work here. Talk. <laughs> Remember I have a light on. Oh, that was narrow. <laughs> Oh, here's a path. Huh. Going in. I think I have my lights on the low setting. It's a lot easier on a geared bike. <laughs> My single speed last week. Ooh. That light on the handlebar doesn't stay pointing up because it's got the lame strap. The little elastic strap to keep it tight on the handlebars. I like the old night rider system where it had a little dial. You just tighten it up. I don't know why they went to this stupid strap. Doesn't work. So the light on my helmet is what I use to look out ahead. The light on my handlebars is what I use to look right down in front of my front tire. Works pretty good. Whoa, up and over.
All right. I think this trail ends pretty soon out on the road, if I remember correctly. So the light on my helmet, I can turn my head and look around the corners like this one. I can see what's coming ahead. And that's why I like helmet mounted light versus just the handlebar mounted light. It's the handlebar mounted light gonna be pointed in the direction of the bike. And I wanna be able to look ahead. This looks challenging. Yes, nice. Yep, here's the road. All right, here we go. Got to the end. <laughs> I'm gonna head back up. Woohoo! Do we know where we're going? <laughs> There's a trail in here somewhere. <laughs> There we go. Somebody's got a friend. That's cool looking ahead. <laughs> oh, Sandy. Snake. Stump left. Beaver tree. Beaver. Oh, there's two of them. TP. <laughs> Just a TP in the middle of nowhere. A <laughs> Blair Witch. <clears throat> Meaner. Somewhere there's like a stump right in the middle. I think it's right up here. Oh, 
<laughs> the, the production costs were like a couple of tents and some flashlights. <laughs> Batteries. <laughs> And Mountain Dew. <laughs> Stump middle. <laughs> Is this the shitty one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just don't ride into the river. Yeah, but there's a stump on this side too. Oh. <laughs> How's that working out for you guys? <laughs> it's excellent. It's like just a cliff drop right there, right? Not a big deal. River. <laughs> in the dark biking is way more fun in the so that was my ride last night or at least some of the highlights of it and you can definitely see uh, the two lights kind of working together and as i said in the video i use my helmet light to project out farther where i'm looking and it follows my head so if i'm looking around a corner i can see around that corner and then i use my handlebar light to point down closer to just in front of my front wheel and it lights the trail so i can see the details in the trail so if there's a stump or rock or even a jump i can uh, use that light to kind of make sure i hit that right and get over stuff correctly um, so that's super beneficial um, one of the things in the video that you can definitely see which isn't how it is in the real world is it looks like the contrast from where the light lights to where it doesn't light is this dark like circle and then it gets really dark off to the sides well that's not what it actually looks like to the human eye um, so cameras just they, they just they just can't do what the human eye does to me i see really good in front of me and really good on the trail and i can actually have some good peripheral vision um, as long as you have bright enough lights um, so I'm running a 750 uh, lumens on the handlebar and a 1100 lumens on the helmet. Um, I actually run them in the lower settings because that's like a lot of lumens more than you really need. I run in the medium setting. So I'll run, I believe the 750 lumens in the medium setting is around 500 or 550 lumens. And I believe the 1100 lumens is around 750 or 800. So that's how I like to run them. The reason why I run in the medium setting is because I want the battery to last longer. These particular uh, Knight Rider Lumina lights, if you run them in their full power setting, especially when it's colder outside, they'll only last you about an hour. Well, if most rides I go on are at least a hour and a half to three hours somewhere in there right so i run in the medium setting because in the medium setting these batteries will easily last two and a half three hours and you really just don't want your lights your batteries to die off when you're out in the middle of a long ride and you're off deep in the trail somewhere so uh really important that you get bright enough light so you can actually run them in the medium setting that's actually you know, like something i'm suggesting get the brightest ones you can get and then run them in a lower setting and then they'll last a lot longer because they'll be the batteries will be designed to handle that and then <clears throat> i highly recommend running two lights if you only run one light make sure you run one on the helmet and not one on the handlebar because it's better off to have one look you know lighting up the trail where you're looking rather than one that's on the handlebar that's only lighting up the trail in front of your bike so you get into like a tight turn you can't see what's coming ahead so um some of the little bits in this video you can see i'm hauling pretty good and hitting some downhill and stuff like that and so um you can't really go that fast if you don't have enough light so <laughs> 
Lighting is important. Okay, so hope you like this video. Hope you learn a little bit more about night riding because it is a blast. And we still don't have snow. When we get snow, I'll do some night riding in the snow and you can kind of see the difference there too. Appreciate you supporting my channel. Please like and subscribe.